Hi, welcome. I thought I'd talk a little bit and then do um, an activation because I know you all love activations, right? Uh, a little bit of upgrading work and um, light language transmission. Anyone want one of those today? Should you tag that in at the end? Let's do that. Let me know what you'd like. <laughs> I know you keep telling me you want more light language. Well, that's easy. I can sit here with you every day and do light language. It's wonderful, isn't it? How the light language just resonates with the heart and really supports this time of change. It doesn't speak to the mind, you see. So it helps you to know whether you're in your mind or you're in your heart. If you can't bear to listen to it, then you're probably in your head going, oh, that's too much crazy for me today. And you can drop into your heart and the heart goes, oh, that's just what I wanted to hear. Oh, I needed that. There can be a release. It's either joyful or it's like, oh, there's grief coming out or whatever, but it's all good, whichever way it goes, huh? We want to get out that old stuff. We want to bring in all that new stuff. We want to make that change here in our physical bodies. Okay, because when we make that change here in our physical bodies, we start to influence the world. We start to be the change and alter things in a much more grounded way. The change has to come from within. So any opportunity to do your inner work, and we're going to talk loads more about inner work. So much support and guidance coming to you to help you along this journey. Particularly if there's inner work that you want to get on with, not quite sure how to go about that. You can help with that. It's all about the inner work right now. Facing those shadows, bringing in more light, riding those waves. And you can do it. You can do it. And your heart will support you. And having your heart frequency aligned will really help. And light, lang lang light language helps to do that. Helps to elevate the frequency of the heart. That's why when you hear it, you're like, ah, oh, that's what I need. Because on some level, you're recognizing that you need to elevate the frequency of your being. Okay. And to elevate the frequency of your whole being, that starts with the heart. Because the heart communicates to every cell of your body, to all the systems of your body. It even tells your brain what to do. Okay, A lot of people have got it around the wrong way. They think their brain tells their body what to do, but it doesn't at all. Your heart informs your brain and then your brain informs your body. So it all starts with the heart. And if the heart's at the right frequency, then you're transmitting the information to the brain and to all the systems of your body. You start showing up differently. You start having a different dialogue, a different relationship, a different experience in your outer reality. Because you've, shift, you've shifted um, paradigm, really. You're shifting frequency. Every time you shift frequency, you're in a different place. Yeah? It might look the same. You might still be in your house, for example, but your experience is now going to be different. There's an ease about it. It's not all jangly and gnarly anymore. Your thoughts will be different. They might be more expansive, more creative, more positive, more open. From the heart. It's all from the heart. So let's have a look at just changing the heart frequency a little bit, just supporting that, bringing the energies in to uh, uh, allow that to happen. And remember, these energies are available to you all the time. They're always available to you. Okay, these are your energies. Yeah, you've got your own guiding systems, your own guidance team, and access to all of these energies all the time. Okay, I'm not doing anything special, I'm just reminding you of this. I'm just here to remind you of the power you have. You have the power to tune in to the energies around you through your heart and have a relationship 
with the external world which supports you to be the authentic you in full. If that's not happening right yet, just yet, then you're in a process of change until that does happen. But it will happen. It's like an inevitable, you know. That's what this, that's what this whole process of evolution of consciousness is all about. Okay, it's subtle. Subtle changes bit by bit. Some, some shifts seem quite big sometimes, don't they? You're like, whoa, that was a big shift. And you start to notice things in your life. But there's a lot of very subtle incremental changes that occur over a long, long period of time. And they all build up and start to build a different picture, different picture of you, different picture of the world, different picture of you in the world. Okay, and so it's changes, it's changes, gentle, gentle, bit by bit, and it will happen, it's inevitable. It's quite amazing, really, to think that this whole awakening process is going to completely recalibrate how we are as human beings. It's not just going to happen to some people because they read the right book or they, I don't know, they've got some lucky charm or they, <laughs> they did a certain something. Um, there's not anyone that's going to have more guidance than anyone else that's got a special something. Everyone has this. Everyone has this special magic, this relationship with the world around them. But a lot of it has been veiled or kind of hidden or covered up and distorted. And so what the awakening process does is it takes away the layers of everything that's in the way of who you really are. And as all of those layers are taken away and and you reveal to yourself the magic within you, the true light within you, then you realize within that new sensory system, that more awakened, awakened um, psyche, and the sensory systems that are then aligned to a, a clearer frequency, if you like. And so information then travels to you back and forth much more with much more with, with much greater clarity and that was possible before but not because there are all the layers in front so it's not that it's not there it's not that some people are special and have it and don't it's just the layers in between that's all that makes the difference and so that's what we're here to help with to help you find those layers, loosen those layers, let go of those layers. As so as your connection to your innate guiding wisdom and intelligence gets clearer to you, for you, instructing you, supporting you, guiding you home. And this is going to happen to everyone eventually. Wherever anyone is on their journey at the moment, some people are just starting out. Some people have been on this journey for a long time. None of it matters. It doesn't matter where you are. We're, we're, we're all in a process of change. You can't be on this planet currently unless you're in the process of change because our planet is changing right now. And we are the physical representation or... Um, essence if you like we are the planet as well we're not separate from her and so as she changes as all of this change um, occurs we can't not physically go through a lot of change ourselves it's not possible because the expression of 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 the change of the planet moves through us and the expression of the change of the planet is occurring because of the relationship that the planet has with the rest of the cosmos and the energy she receives and the relationship she has and the communication that occurs. And so as this is such a, a poignant 
time of transformation, we can't not transform. And so wherever you are on your path, you're exactly where you need to be right now. There's never any mistakes. It's perfect and beautiful. Some of those layers are a bit ugly, I have to say. <laughs> Some of that stuff we want to get rid of is like, ooh. <laughs> and it's okay to let it all go. Okay? It's okay to let it all go. It's not who you are. It might be who you've been told that you are. That's different. We want to let go of all those indoctrinated ideas and conditioned attitudes and beliefs and perceptions. That's part of the work we're here to do, without doubt. We've got to do that. Who else is going to do that? We've got to do that. And some people are more willing to do that than others, you know. Some people come at it from a more pressurised place than others. I was talking to someone recently about fish face. Just like you've had a fish slap you round the face so many times that you can't not look at that thing anymore. <laughs> you've got to look at it. It's like this keeps coming up for me. Can't deny it anymore. It's not them. It's not their fault. It's not anything external. This has to be something to do with me. <laughs> I mean, we can blame everyone else. We can do that. We can do that for as long as you like. You spend a lifetime doing that. It won't serve you. It won't serve you at all. You will give away all your power to that. You will just keep giving away power. The way you come into your power is to take full responsibility for everything that goes on and shows up in your life. When you do that, you flip reverse it all. When you take your power back and you go, right, this is mine to change. What am I going to change about me in order to change this situation? Then, poof, you're in your power. You're no longer the victim of what everyone else is doing to you or to each other. You're then in your power to create your world from that centered point of reference. Okay? And so wherever you are on your path, peeling back the layers, getting rid of everything you're not, coming more into your power, finding your inner light, seeing the power in that inner light and nurturing it, loving what you find in there. It's hard sometimes because it's so beautiful. You can want to deny that as well. There's a whole lot of programs that make us want to disassociate from the truth of who we are. That's another whole lot of layers. We can work through that. Okay, that's what we're here to do. We're here to work through all of that. But when you do find those, those real gems, those treasures, then hold them in reverence. Hold them in your heart. They'll grow in there. Nurture them. Nurture them. That's the real you. That's the real, real you. Okay. So I'm going to do a little activation about that. Just to bring in a little bit more energy to support you. In whatever way you need support right now. And you know, sometimes we don't even know what we need and that's okay. It's okay to not know. That's where trust comes in. Which is actually the easier option in the long run. If you just let go and start trusting that your guidance team and supporting networks are going to help you through all of this and surrender into it, it gets much easier. But of course, we spend so much time in our heads and so we want to have control and we want to work it all out. So that's another way. Okay, it's choice. It all comes down to choice. And you can start doing it one way and then change your mind later. And that's a choice as well. Okay, you can always make different choices. It's always changing. Nothing's set in stone. It's all malleable. Yeah. 
It's all malleable. Okay, so we'll do an activation. We'll do uh, a light language transmission. So if you want to come into your heart space, if you haven't already, I either like to place my hands on my heart or, um, or into prayer position, whatever works for you. And uh, I'll just bring in a, a little activation that's right for you, coming in through your own supporting networks and guidance team bringing you exactly what you need right now to support you in this next phase. Because you're ready for a new phase, right? I'm just going to drop in some light codes. They're like little seeds of change that can come into your energy field. And then bit by bit, you can welcome them deeper into your body to work their magic, helping to release things that you're ready to let go of and to bring in the new things that you're ready to receive. Okay. We can have that. And we'll do a little light language transmission. That's what we're all today. How else do we hear? Ya taniye te ya tuanta, ta taniye ya wa, ta taniye ya wa, ta taniye, ta taniye, ta taniye wa, ta taniye wa, ta taniye, ta taniye, ta taniye, ta taniye. Ta ta ni ye, 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 ta ta ni ye. Kya ta ni te ya tu waya, kya ta ni te ya tu an ta 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 ni ye, kya ta ni ye, kya ta ni ye, kya ta ni ye. Kian tani ye, kian tani wa ta tani ye wa yani ye te atuanta. Kian tani ye te, kian tani ye te atuanta ta tani ye te atuaya. Kian tani ye, kian tani ye, kian tani ye, kian tani ye au. 